Hello, everybody. I just want to say thank you so much for being here today. This is actually a winter day again here in Washington State. I cannot believe the snow we're having here. It is not happy for me because I really don't like snow. I like more of an island type. I'm a country city type slash um, southern girl that likes to have sunshine. Yes, sunshine is my friend. I love the sunshine. Don't you love sunshine? Don't you get so much inspiration when you're in the sun and it just bathes you in golden lights and it makes you feel so happy? Come on, you know it's true. It's just amazing how this is. So today, do not scroll forward. Do not click off. Take a listen here. Come on, you know you want to see this to the end because you never know what tidbit is going to be in there that is going to help you boost your lifestyle, your business, everything to the next level. Come on, guys, let's go. So, inspire those who are looking to grow their businesses. Ex inspire those who are creating a lifestyle, who are creating their dreams. Inspire those people the way you have been inspired. That is the way to do it because like attracts like. You cannot be a successful person without attracting success to you. So take a look at what you're doing right now. Come on, take a look, take a listen. Who are you listening to? What are you doing? What are your inspirations? What is your motivations? And look at what and who is inspiring you. It could be you've heard someone on YouTube, you know, doing uh, videos or, you know, just doing um, audios or whatever. And you, you listen to that and it just clicks. And it's like, oh, yeah, that is what I need to do. That is how I can do it. That is amazing. So come on. You are an inspirational force. You, right here, right now. Take focus. Have faith and believe inspiration is all around you. Are you building your business or is your business holding you back? Take a look at what you're doing, what you're saying, what you're feeling, what you're projecting out there to the world. Are you projecting confidence that you know what you're doing? Are you projecting inspiration to attract those people to you that you can help so many people? It's true. When you are inspired yourself and you have that feeling of love and joy and success booming in your life, why not take that? forward and inspire those people around you who are looking at you, who are watching you, who are seeing you, <coughs> excuse me, who are maybe in a conundrum about how to get through this or how to do that or how to work that step. Oh my gosh, you are so amazing. You have the answers because you have learned, you have listened, you have focused, you have faith in what you're doing and you believe in what you're doing and because you can see success. Success is all around you. If you're not taking a closer look at it, look at the success you've already created. Look at the lifestyle you have right now. That is your lifestyle. That is yours to own and you have created it. So take a look at it. What are you doing that makes you just jump up and down for joy? And what are you doing that maybe you're not quite where you want to be in that? You can change that. You are an amazing being. You can do anything you set your mind to do. And what you have to do is you have to have faith in yourself, in the world around you, in the vibrations that you are putting out there. If you are not putting forth the I can attitude or I am great attitude, 
you're going to be receiving just the opposite of that because you will receive what you put out because like attracts like. Think about it. Your life right now, your lifestyle, whatever it is, whatever you have, whatever you're doing is what you are creating. So as I look at my life and my lifestyle and what I'm creating is awesome. It is fantastic. I get what I want. I am consistent on learning and growing my lifestyle, my business, my family. So when you ask yourself, I'm inspired by what? You have to have an inspiration from somewhere, someone, something. Like I said, it could be a video. It could be listening to someone speak. It could be a book you read. It could be any number of things that have inspired you to be the person you are and to have the great lifestyle you have created. Regardless of where you're at, your lifestyle is what you have created. And you are an amazing person, so whatever you have created is what you have done. And you have to own that and say, I created this life. I've created this for my family. If it's not quite where you want it to be, you know what? You don't get upset. You don't get all fungled about it. You just say, okay, that I'm going to change. That is going to be different. That is going to be this. That is going to be that. So ask yourself, what is my why? Why do I want the lifestyle I want? Why do I want to have this different things in my life? Why do I want, and want is a, a negative word, so the more you're saying why I want, if you just change that to I desire to have, that is an open vibration. If you're saying I want, I want, I want, that is a word of lack. And you can't be inspired if you are in lack. It will inspire more lack. So be inspired by, like I said, people that are happy, people that are already doing the deed, that are already successful, that are already seeing the different aspects of their lives, of their business, of their home life, of their lifestyle, changing and growing. And it can be at any rate or any pace that you choose because you are the leader of your lifestyle. You are the only one that can create your lifestyle. No one else can do that. We tend to blame other people on different things that happen to us in our lives. But then you have to stop and ask yourself. And I've had to do this myself too. I'm not out. I'm not away from this one. Everyone has done it. We all do it. Something bad or something negative comes your way. You have to stop and think, what was I thinking when that came to me? What was I thinking when that happened to me or with me? What was I thinking to attract that to me? That's what it costs and that's what it is. So I found whenever I've had a lack feeling or a lack thought or a lack vibration, I got more of it. And I got a lot more of it, and it wasn't happy. So it's not good when you get so much and you build so much, and then bam, you lose it all. Come on, really? It happens. And what I have learned by listening to people and to instances and to motivations that inspire me is whenever something like that happened and it came and bam, hit me like a brick. I knew that I brought that to myself, that I brought that to me in a way that I didn't even, wasn't even conscious that I was doing it. But when I was conscious, I could remove that negativity and go back and be inspired and say, okay, you know, that was not good. That was not happy for me. So I desire to have this in my life. I desire to have inspiration. So listen to people that are already successful or are getting successful in their jobs, in their business. 
you will learn so much from people that are already doing this that aren't afraid to share their tips and tricks. You know, we don't share everything. I have not seen one of the people in my group or in our community that share every single thing, but we share a lot. We share a lot of tips, a lot of tricks, a lot of inspiration, and a lot of motivation. So if you can be around people like that, that have the focus, the faith, the belief, and the inspiration all around you, you can't help but be successful. You really can't. So it is a positive reinforcement for your own psyche, for your own motivation, for your own well-being, for you to be the person you want to be and to create the lifestyle of your dreams. Why not? You can have the lifestyle of your dreams. And we've talked about this before. I know it seems like this is the go back, fall back thing that I talk about. It's because I feel so passionate about this. And I want to see everyone out there receive everything you are intended to receive in life. I have an abundance in my life. And I know there is an abundance out there for everyone. It's just a matter of having the focus to get going, having the faith to believe in yourself first, and having inspiration. Listen to inspirational people. Be in groups that have inspirational people. It's all about the vibrations that you put out there, that you receive. Like attracts like. Get out there and do this and be positive and put your next foot forward. Just because you didn't succeed at one thing does not mean, excuse me, <coughs> you will not succeed at another. There's always a walk around. There's always a way to do something. And in my book, the more simple it is, the easier it is the more successful I am. And I make everything simple and I find I have success come to me because I don't stress about working my business. I just, you can do it in 15, 20 minute increments and get so much out there. You can do whatever you want in your life. You can work your life around your business. Take the time to have your family life. Work it around your business. Business isn't the focus. Your focus is your family. Your family is first. So you work your business and you're not busy with your family. And you know what? If that's a priority for you, if you are a stay at home parent, a mom, then definitely you can be with the kids, play with the kids, and you could still work your business. It's really that simple. It's not hard, and it doesn't have to be hard. So take inspiration and take it in abundance. Grab on, hold on, and don't ever, ever let it go because you are an inspirational being. And just ask yourself, am I inspiring those around me who are growing their businesses? Am I creating the lifestyle of my dreams, or am I helping them create the lifestyle of their dreams? Is this a win-win situation for everybody? Ask yourself. That's a question only you can answer. So just be inspired. Just be inspired to do the best you can do and be the best you can be. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me here this morning. I wish you all the best and thank you so much. And I will talk to you all later and be inspired to live your life the way you want to. You are amazing beings. I will chat with you all later.